But working on cars and trucks, and lots of other things for that matter, there are certain nuts and bolts that have to be tight to a very specific tightness. Just hand tight isn't good enough, or eh, it seems pretty tight, that's not going to cut it. It has to be a very specific tightness. And we use a torque wrench. Here in the United States, we generally use foot-pounds and inch-pounds. Metric, they use Newton meters. We've got four different types of torque wrenches here at our shop, and likely you're going to have a torque wrench that's similar to one of these four. So let's take a look how we use a torque wrench. It's a piece of cake. You'll love it. Here are four varieties of torque wrenches that we have in this shop. We have the old school variety with a uh, needle on it, half inch drive. Well, all of these are half inch drive. We have uh, this variety, very common type, that is a, um, it has a twisting type handle and it uh, clicks. This variety also clicks, it has a dial that you set, very simple. And we have our most high deluxe fancy model right here. This baby has a vibrating handle, it has lights and a beeping to let us know when we've reached the proper torque. So hey, let's check out how they're used. We're going to tighten down the lug nuts on my car today and we're going to torque them down to 100 foot-pounds. Now this variety we don't have to preset. You'll see how this works in a moment. Now this variety we're going to have to set to 100 pounds. This side is for Newton meters. That side is for foot-pounds. And there's a little line down here, boy, it's hard to see. And what we're going to do is grasp the handle here and twist it till we line up with a hundred. Then we're good to go on that one. This one here, we're going to turn our dial till we reach a hundred and lock it down. This one, really simple. Okay, well it's upside down there but you can read it. Just turn our, push our button till we reach a hundred. We're good to go. Now let's tighten those wheels. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and put my socket. Put the socket on the end of my torque wrench. I'm going to put it on the lug nut here and I am going to turn it until my needle reaches 100 foot pounds. As you can see, that's a challenge. When I finally reach 100, I'll stop. There we go. Now that's a tough type to use because you have to be in a position to actually see the dial. And uh, when you're torquing stuff down, that's not always possible. Now this variety is a lot easier. This one's even got a ratchet on it. How nice is that, huh? Now, listen for the click. Hear it? There you go. This one also has a ratchet. Very nice. Now this one can only work in one direction. You can't take things off this way. And you, that's fine. You really shouldn't be taking things off with a torque wrench anyway. It's made for tightening. This one also has a click. Listen. Alright, now let's try number three. Or number four, I should say. Now our fourth variety torque wrench here, our big fancy electronic snap-on variety, we're going to go ahead and tighten our lug nut down with that one. This one, like the other, has a nice ratcheting feature. Now, watch the lights. 
and listen. Orange, not ready yet, haven't reached it. Orange, still going. Still going, look I can even read my torque. Another orange, not quite. Green, I've reached my torque. It also vibrated the handle. If it went to red, meant I over torqued it. Simple. Good stuff. Let's check that one again. Huh? Let's watch it again. Good. Oh, look, 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 look. Oh, yeah. Very cool. Great torque wrench. An expensive one, but it's worth the money. Especially if you're working on this kind of stuff all the time.